sweet. But how's the flavor? How's the flavor? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. So today we're in Houston. We're gonna take you around Chinatown and try some of our favorite and most popular foods. We know a lot of you guys might not be familiar with Chinatown and it may be kind of scary to go because you don't know the language, but we want to show you it's really easy. It's great to be adventurous and get out there and try different foods. Right now we're at Q Mama's, which is a dim sum place. We're going to take you and try some of our favorite dim sum picks. So let's go ahead and get going. sit down is they'll ask you what you want to drink and most people order tea. There are different types of teas. My favorite that I always get is the chrysanthemum tea. There's also jasmine tea that's really popular which I really like. It's very fragrant. So the tea comes in this pot and you get these little cups. Thank you Joe. It's hot. I know it's hot too. She orders chrysanthemum tea and he brings her hot tea. Which I don't know what this is. It might even be jasmine actually. Yeah, it's fragrant. It's really good. How do you say that in Cantonese? I have no idea. Does it matter? It's not like our friends are gonna order it in, in Cantonese. If they don't know jasmine tea, just say hot tea. Just say hot tea. Dim sum is usually eaten during breakfast or lunch. Whenever you come here, you get a piece of paper and you can pick which ones you want to order. You just fill it out and you give it to them. I have to get this, the shrimp dumplings. The shrimp dumplings? Yes. Is that the hagao? That's the hagao. Okay, okay. One of the basic ones everyone always gets, it's called hagao. It's a shrimp dumpling and it tastes really good. That's the classic dim sum dish. Okay, another thing that I always get is the steamed sticky rice with chicken wrapped in lotus leaves, dark meat chicken, and sometimes mushrooms and sausages and it's marinated in like a soy, like a soy sauce, sauce mixture yes. and it's steamed so then once that happens you have all of the flavor from the chicken into the rice so I'm getting one of that but it's also very filling so I'm gonna have you to share it with me and that's the whole point of dim sum also dim sum means point to the heart so you go and eat dim sum usually with your family and friends and you all share it you eat it family style each of the plates are little they're appetizer size so it's kind of like taba style i just really love dim sum because my family they're not cantonese so they didn't actually get to have dim sum until they moved to the united states where they have dim sum restaurants whenever i was young they brought me to it so it just kind of reminds me of childhood another one that i love is is the chicken feet with black bean sauce. That one is my absolute favorite. So gross. It's so good. It's so gross. You say that now, but after you eat it, it's so good. Like You're you ordering stop. it? Yes. I'm not eating it. Yes, you are. You're eating it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not eating it. <laughs> I've never had the radish cake. Oh, radish cake is good. Do you eat pig blood? No. It's payback for me making you <laughs> eat raw oyster last time. Which turned out to be good, so I don't understand this animosity. Do you want egg tart? Do you like it? Okay. Let's try egg tart, because that's one of the most iconic items, too. Yeah. Have you ever tried the deep fried taro one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get that one. The tart. That's How many it. is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of food. Eight, nine. Oh my god. That it's is only so it's only nine. Food. Only there's two of us. <laughs> she ordered nine things. She going crazy because she hadn't had dim sum in a long time. Yes. rice roll and it has stuffed meat inside. I think it's beef or pork. And it's not actually like rice rice, it's rice flour made into a rice wrapper. And it has like a sweet soy sauce on it. It has like meat in it too. Mm. 
The rice paper is so smooth. It's like a chewy texture and also has a little springiness to it. And the meat inside is marinated really well. And it goes really well with the sweet soy sauce that they give you. You can also get it in other flavors, like a seafood flavor with dry shrimps in it. A lot of people like that too. Or just not dry shrimp, but just regular shrimp. Or barbecue pork. We're gonna try the hot dogs. It's called the Crystal Skin Shrimp Dumplings. Hot is shrimp and Cantonese. It's sticky. Yeah. It's wrapped in the same rice wrapper that the previous dish we tried in. And you can see the shrimp through it. It's a good hot dog because it has a lot of shrimp in it. This one has a lot of shrimp in it. This is a must order dim sum dish. Dim sum is a great way to spend a Saturday morning. The next one is the stained pork spare ribs. These are actually spare rib tips. And it's stained with fermented black beans. It does have bones in it, so you just kind of eat around the mouth. Yes. This is really good. It's a little bit sweet too, but just like a hint of sweetness. The meat is super tender, and what's special about this dish is that the meat needs to be tender, but it also needs to have a little bit of chewiness to it. And it's cooked soft, but the meat must still cling on to the bone because it's not full pork. I really love it. It's one of my favorite dishes. Before it's cooked, it's marinated in like um, the sauce that they use for it. And they add the cornstarch to it so that the flavor sticks onto the meat. So you're not losing any flavor while it's steaming. They also have some jalapenos in it to add a little bit of a peppery, spicy kick. But the dish itself is not spicy. Let's try the lotus leaf. Ooh, okay. So it's sticky rice on the inside. So it looks like it has a little bit of dried shrimp, Chinese pork sausage, and minced chicken meat. And sometimes they also even add a little bit of shiitake mushrooms to it too, to make it very flavorful. Very savory, soy saucy, and just delicious. Very wholesome. But the uh, lotus leaf lends like a special taste to the sticky rice. Yes, uh, it adds like a very earthy flavor. It won't taste the same if you make it without the lotus leaf. Okay, so next up is the chicken feet. This one is also one of my absolute favorites. I don't see how. It's feet. It's delicious. It's not just feet, it's delicious. It's so feet, like, like the feet that the chicken used to walk on all over the dirt. But they wash it though. I would hope they wash it. So, the story on the street has it that a Hong Kong businessman went to Los Angeles or San Francisco, one of those areas, and he discovered that the American chicken feet is fattier than the ones they have in Hong Kong. Like all things American. And he noticed that people here don't buy them, they don't eat them, so it's super cheap. He had this idea of changing it to use the American chicken feet. Nowadays, even back in China or Hong Kong, they use the American chicken feet to make this dish. So people want like fat feet, like like chubby feet. It's meatier. Like and fat hobbit feet. Don't look at this simple plate of feet. It takes a lot to actually make this. Like they have to cook it for a long time? Yes, so this dish, it's actually deep fried and then steamed for multiple hours. Whenever you bite into it, the meat just falls off. Like it's super, super tender. The cartilage of the chicken feet is so good. Like you can eat that too. And it gives it like a little bit of a chewy texture with the chicken feet skin, which is super soft. John loves feet. It's so good. <laughs> All right, so, Coco. Coco's chicken feet. This is the lucky candidate. Do I have to? Yes, you do. No, I don't want to. Hurry up. <laughs> it's a toe. Can I start at the other end? Yes, you can start at the other end. I don't want to eat a toe. The other end is more fatty. Okay, okay. Oh. It has little bones. 
I feel like what I'm eating is the skin. So it's just skin and bones? Yes, it's delicious skin. But it's meat. How's the flavor? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> What's the flavor? Feet. It's good flavor. The flavor is feet. So are you gonna finish it? I don't think I can. <laughs> Coco. That's a big old foot. You even told me that these are the fat ones. Yes, they're the fattier ones. Well, I'd rather the skinny feet. The skinny feet, you don't get the full effect. Of I don't want the full effect. <laughs> you don't get the full effect of the skin falling off of the bones. And you get more to chew on. Oh, yeah, this one's fatty. <laughs> That's the one I like. <laughs> Joan said I was eating it wrong. So she's eating it wrong. So she's going to show us how a chicken feet eater pro eats the chicken feet. She just goes right in and takes the toe. You just bite it? You just bite the toe off. The skin comes right off, so then you just eat the skin and then you spit out the bones. And what's the flavor, Joan? It's a little bit sweet. I think they make it with some sort of like the, you know, like the cha shell bun. The barbecue pork bun. They actually use some of that sauce to make this dish. So it has like a slight barbecue flavor to it, I would say. It does have a little bit of But it's more of like a Hong Kong style barbecue flavor. Coco, you have to finish that. I cannot finish it. I'm not finishing it. I tried it. I don't like it. Never again. A mouthful of greatness and skin and cartridge. I like fat feet. <laughs> she has weird fetishes. <laughs> I'm gonna need more tea to rinse off the feet taste. Alright Coco, we need more tea. What do we do? Okay, all you do is you lift up your lid on your teapot and you rest it up top. And it's like a universal signal that you need more tea. Can we please go on to the next dish? <laughs> Pan fried radish cake. Pan fried radish cake. The radish cakes are obviously made from radishes. I call it a Chinese carrot. It does look like a carrot, but it's white and a lot thicker than what a carrot normally is. Mm -hmm. But look at it, it's so pretty. It's like glistening. How they make it is they shred the radish with a grater into tiny, tiny pieces and they make it into a paste and they shape it into this little cube thing. This is my first time trying it actually. We normally don't order this. I definitely smell and taste the radish flavor coming out of it. It's usually flavored with Chinese sausage and dry shrimp. They cut it into little minuscule pieces and it's all within the paste mixture. It's a very soft texture. The outside is like a little bit crispy. It's a savory cake, it's not sweet. I really like it. Much better than the feet. Now we're gonna try the taro puffs. Joan's never tried it before, so I told her this is a must try. It looks so pretty. Right, it's, it's like, impressive. It's like a piece of art. I'm afraid to eat it and ruin it. So what it is, is mashed up taro with brown pork and some vegetables wrapped inside the taro. And then the whole thing is deep fried. What? It has meat in it? I thought it was like a dessert. It's not a dessert. This is not a dessert. Interesting. It's savory. Yep. So I split it in half and you can see the meat inside. It's good. Savory. It's like a fried taro dumpling. What's on the outside, do you know? Some kind of batter. Batter looks very pretty. It's very tempura like, but even lighter than that. So big brain me forgot to bring additional batteries for our camera. So now we're using the phone. Sorry if the audio is different. This is the last one. It's the egg tarts. These are so good. You can get these everywhere in Hong Kong. So it has like a fluffy pastry that surrounds the egg tart in the center. So this is a dessert, by the way, if we didn't say that. 
It's kind of like a flan with a pastry shell around it. It's very fluffy and flaky. Mm -hmm. The perfect sweetness for dessert. So when you go and order dim sum, make sure you finish off with some egg tart. And you guys know some dishes you can get when you go eat dim sum. Get yourselves out there and be more adventurous. You can't speak. I'm too full. <laughs> Level up your Chinese food. Mm-hmm. <laughs>